Kevin Lewis is not here, you can see his mono. Uh, and I, <laughs> I, uh, I uh, there. Um, so we looked at the star, um, which is this multi-use uh, shall be an entertainment complex in Singapore. Um, so there's actually not a lot of information about this building because it was completed like seven months ago. Um, so basically like everything you see in this presentation is literally everything we could find. Um, so if you have any questions, I'm sorry, but I probably won't really answer this. <laughs> um, so the clients of the project were Capital Malls, which is a large um, Asian shopping owner or shopping mall owner developer um, manager, and Rock Productions, um, which operates auditoriums. And so basically, like think of it as Capital Malls owns like this part, and Rock Productions owns this part. Um, so you have this auditorium, which is suspended six stories into the um, there. And then you have the shopping center underneath. Um, the structural engineer engineers on this project um, were Ricken, Bricker, Bricker Hoff and Thornton Tomasetti. Um, it, was a, it was a joint venture. Um, and the, arch, uh, the architectural firm was Aetis. Um, oh, actually, Parsons Ricken Hoff. Um, sorry, I not do the There's also a whole slew of uh, consultants, engineers, and advisors. Um, so you had art tech consultants, which is performing arts facilities planning and design consultants. Mott McDonald, which is a mechanical and electronic engineering consultants. Um, quantity surveyor, Davis, Langdon, and Sia. Um, landscape consultant, ICN Design, National Fire Safety Engineering and Environmental Design Consultant are up Singapore, uh, performing arts manager consultant, IMG Artists, concert production advisor, unusual productions, all the U's are capitalized. Yeah, yeah. Um, facade specialist, ALT Limited. Um, so right here you have the, the cross section, and um, so the performing arts center is what is highlighted in blue, purple, um, orange and yellow. Um, these are the dressing rooms. Um, these are like a stadium area. And this is the auditorium, which is what we focus on. Um, and there's also this multi-use hall that can be used for like banquets and basically any part of it. Um, there's also a roof garden, which I thought was really cool. Um, but yeah. Oh, the auditorium is, is seats 5,000. 118 people is the largest entertainment venue in all of Singapore, in case you're curious. Um, um, so, slanted, okay, so an interesting feature of the, of the star is that it uses slanted beams to prop up the auditorium, um, which can get into problems with loading. So, um, as you can see, I think in this picture. You can see how it's they're all angled um, like here. Um, and that comes into um, the low cap later. These, these are all stand sections in case you're curious why I'm reading off of this. Um, Um, 
It's an open, it's an open air cathedral. Um, so the back of it is actually allows air in. So uh, because it's Singapore and it's humid, um, they didn't want to have people. You know, it was, was going to be stuffy. So the, the air can flow through the back of this um, and through these little slits. Um, so it's naturally cooled. Um, and that's, again, why the shopping mall is open air um, for natural ventilation, which again cuts, cuts down each back um, loads. See. Uh, loading path, OK. So there are, there's three levels of seating. You have the, the base floor. You have the first balcony and the second balcony. Um, you see the live loads you transfer into there, and then down, and same thing here, and down. And then you have all the various loads on the floor, and then Yeah. 